Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tea time. Today,、uh, I want to talk about tea time specifically,、uh, which is something that we haven't done just yet,、uh, or at least we haven't done in a long time. There's a comment in Reddit that I was reading that sort of spurred me on to this idea.、Uh, it's from Squishy SC. Hearts to Squishy SC. Thanks for being awesome. And、um, Squishy SC says, as a longtime tea time watcher. Uh, I'm glad it's finally getting the recognition he deserves. So I, I posted on Reddit, and it ended up being on the front page, which was really cool. I wasn't really expecting it. I never sort of aggressively marketed Tea Time in any way at all. It's just sort of been what it is.、Um, but he says, a little sad that the channel might become a little less personal. And I think that that is sort of unfortunate, a little bit.、Uh, you core Tea Time watchers, I believe, will always be there, sort of in the shadows, you know. And、uh, and all that kind of stuff, and it's really good to to have you、uh, there. And I remember a lot of you. Believe it or not, believe it or not,、uh, especially if you comment, I remember a lot of you.、Uh, so you are not forgotten. And、um, you know, I think that with the with the smaller channels, it's been nice and personal, and that's cool. But I think also as the channel gets bigger. First of all, I think most people are going to be more interested in the bronze science fast facts and, and those kind of videos, and people are going to look over the the tea time because I mean, this is just me talking to a camera; it's not all that interesting, right?、Um, but those of you who are, I think, form a sort of separate group within the channel, and、uh, it's still sort of the special thing.、Um, but if we have more people watching, I think we can really have a lot more discussion. You know, instead of you know five or six comments, and we're we're talking about things, you know, and usually it's just someone leaves a comment, and then I think you know I say, oh, I think this, and then someone leaves another comment in response. We do that. Maybe we can get a lot more of like you all talking to each other too, and discussing different、uh, ideas and different things that are going on in the world,、uh, you know, the world of StarCraft, and just like the ideas and things in general that might be just interesting to talk about because that's what tea time is about. It's not. Sort of bound by any particular thing. It's just talking about ideas,、um, and that sort of led me to this question, which、um, which is the main idea. What do I do about regulation? Right, because and I realized this, or, or moderation, as it's called in the on the interwebs when you're concerning chat. What do I do? You know, is it full out free speech land? I don't spend any time trying to、um, delete posts that are non-constructive and r- aggressively rude because, or like you know, hateful. You know, like people are calling other people ridiculously hateful names and just just being a a pure negative force in the space. Do I just delete that comment? You know, and it's not like I'm banning that person from the channel. That's also another option I have. So it's weird. It's like this chat channel that I can moderate, like Twitch, in that I can, you know, get rid of comments individually, and and I can, you know, ban people from it. But I think that too much regulation makes people discouraged, and you know, makes people want to unsubscribe and get upset. Because they don't understand why their their comment got deleted or why they got banned. Well, if they got banned, they're not going to watch anymore, right? So, like, that's kind of,、uh, you know.、Um, but on the other hand, if we want to have this, you know, nice constructive conversation where people of all, you know, genders and and、um, you know classes and and all of those type of things,、uh, you know, and and leagues, people of all leagues also, you know, can get in and on the discussion and. Say what they think and and be you know reasonable and all that kind of stuff. We want to have that kind of environment where everyone feels safe to voice their opinion. Then I think there has to be some amount of moderation involved.、Um, looking into the future, right now, nothing. It's the easiest thing in the world. You all are super awesome and really nice and voice your opinions in reasonable ways and have discussions and it's great. But I imagine, just from my internet experience, not you know, not Nostradamus or anything, but I think that、uh, when you get more, more, and more people together, that kind of a thing is going to happen. So, 
What do you all think about uh, moderation? What kind of things, you know, as you are still, you know, the core group, you know, this hasn't gotten out of control just yet. Um, what kind of things do you think um, should be banned? Like the comments, just comments, because I don't think I'm going to ban users ever, because I think that, you know, even the most, you know, salty of salty dogs, you know, can become sweet. Ah, very nice. Um, God, that was terrible. But seriously, like, you know, people are mad and salty and negative. I think even the, the worst of them uh, can eventually, you know, change. I don't think, like, banning a person, unless they're just using an account to maliciously attack. Like, there are a couple of accounts on Reddit that just, like, are pure. They just attack me. And that's what they do on Reddit. <laughs> and it's flattering. But, you know, it's if I had control, I'd be like, yeah, okay, just... Go away, please. Or maybe not. Maybe you think that it's just, you know, it should just be free speech and, and that's it. It's just everyone is allowed to say whatever they want to say, no matter how heinous or hateful it might be. And we just ignore the haters and have our discussions. And we do the, the thumbs up and the thumbs down, you know, just like Reddit. And the thumbs up stuff end up being the top comments and, and all that. I don't know exactly how that works, by the way. I need to figure that out. I need to I need to research how the thumbs up, thumbs down like algorithm works. Like, is time a factor in it? Do the newer comments get you know? Is that is that in there? Like Reddit, you know, where it's like doesn't matter how many upvotes it has, as it gets old, it'll start moving down the list. You know. Um, so if any of you know that and you want to tell me, great. Otherwise, I'm gonna go research it and figure it out. But yeah, so let me know what you think about different ways of moderation for this series only. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and moderate brawn science, okay? Like that's <laughs> pretty much like when I, when I wake up, I check all my notifications and I check every single comment. I read all the comments. And if it's a brawn science comment, like 99 times out of 100, not nine times out of 10, but 99 times out of 100, it's just a comment that I'll never respond to. It's just like someone not getting the satire, and I'm not spending my time writing the word satire to every single person who doesn't get the satire. It's like, but it's like, it's funny and, and interesting, and usually other people be like, hey, this is just like, this is satire. It's, you know, just goofing around kind of thing. Like, the real thing that he's saying is this, or 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 whatever it is. He's sort of, he's making fun of people who, who are, you know, unreasonable, or whatever it might be. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so I'm not going to try to regulate bronze science. Uh, I think it'll just be a special tea time thing where if I do any sort of moderation in the in the comments, it'll be just just for tea time, just so we can have nice, reasonable, civilized discussions with tea. Mm. Um, yes, yes, very nice. All right, so that is all. Thank you for tuning in, hanging out, etc. And um. I'll see you again soon.